Over the last 66 days in these shoes, I've ran 350 miles. That's 5.3 miles per day for the last two months. And I want to give you my honest review of these shoes. What's up guys, hope you're having an amazing day. Today we're going to be talking about the Nike Infinity Runs after 300 miles. As you see on this paper, I had 329 miles on April 15th and I've been tracking every single mile that I've had on these shoes since then and today I have 346.8 but after this, I'm gonna have 350. So yeah, like I said, these shoes have 346 miles on them, but today they're gonna to have a lot more than that, around 352. And I just wanted to make a little update video. I've been making update videos every 50 miles on these shoes, and now we're at 350 miles, so it's time for that. I have a couple of things different. After I tell you guys about how the shoe looks and how the shoe feels and everything about the shoe on the outside, I'm gonna go on a run and really feel for the shoe and tell you guys how the shoes feel after this. So as you guys see, the shoes are pretty dirty, but they do a very good job of staying clean. With 350 miles on these shoes, it's really Really impressive how white these shoes have stained even though there's dirt all over the shoes this compared to another shoe that has 350 miles it looks a lot better than the other shoe and as you can see on the bottom i've been talking about this a lot in the past videos but as you can see it's starting to wear on the top of the shoe which is pretty weird because i have my other shoe right here and there's no signs of wear on the top of the shoe and i remember when i was making the 250 mile video on these shoes i remember that this was starting to wear and tear but since then nothing has changed with this it's held up the shoes still feel really comfortable on my runs my feet have definitely been getting a lot hotter but i really don't have any idea whether whether that's due to the weather getting warmer or the socks that I'm wearing. And the last thing I want to talk to you guys about before I go out on a run is this part right here. As you can see, it's tearing open a little bit on the outside of my foot. That's something I noticed about 20 miles ago and it's just been getting worse, so I'm not sure how much longer that will hold up. So yeah, that's enough talking for right now. I will see you guys when we get out to the country. I didn't run on any trails today, but I just wanted to say that these shoes are capable of running on trails unless the trails are wet. I did, however, run on the road and hard surfaces. Hi guys, I am filming on my iPhone because I forgot my GoPro at home, but I actually just finished the run. It was a 30 minute run, 6.8 kilometers, around seven flat pace, maybe a little faster, maybe a little slower. I'm not really sure. I put up a Strava thing on the screen so you guys can see it. Make sure to go follow me on Strava at Reese Gibson. So that's enough about my run. And now I want to talk to you guys about the shoes. So most of the run was on hard surfaces, but as you can see behind me, this is a dirt and gravel road. So half the run was on that and half the run was on asphalt. And one thing I did notice about these shoes is they're not very good at running on the little gravel stuff. I'll put a thing on the screen so you guys can see it. But as you guys can obviously tell that the tread on the bottom is a lot different from most shoes. Most shoes have different line patterns, but these shoes just have little, little lines right there. And on the bottom, they have half circles that like kind of divot in as where most shoes have line patterns like that. And another very positive thing that I've learned about these shoes is that they don't really collect rocks at all. So when you're running, you're not gonna feel a bunch of rocks on the bottom of your feet like you do in some other shoes. Like I said before in the video, you can tell that the tread on this is a lot more worn than the tread on this. I'm actually gonna check my girlfriend's shoes because she has the exact same shoes as me. And I'm gonna see if she has one shoe that has less tread than the other because I think that's pretty weird. My feet also got hot again today. I'm not really sure what that's about. It is pretty hot outside. It's about 60 degrees, so it's really nice weather. A little wind. And I have one more thing that I wanna tell you guys about the shoe. You guys ask me this question all the time. You guys wanna know if the shoe feels wide when you run in it. And the shoe looks very wide because it is very wide. They made the shoe very wide so it absorbs the shock, so it's not really rocky when you run. That's one of the reasons that this shoe reduces injury for people. Yeah, I noticed that in my first 350 miles, you cannot tell that this shoe is wide at all. You basically barely notice that it's any wider than a pair of Pegasus, like the Pegasus 35s. And that is my honest opinion. Shoe also broke in like right away. I didn't really have to run like 100 miles before the shoe broke in. So that's another good positive about this shoe. So yeah, that's going to be the end of another episode of Reese Runs. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure to subscribe and stay along for my half marathon journey that I'm going to be doing in a couple weeks. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.